Hey guys, this is QA Shahin and today we are going to start talking about GitHub. In this video, we're going to look at installation and setup of GitHub. So first of all, let's just really quickly go over the agenda of this particular video. So the first thing we're going to do is gain access to GitHub and create a repository. We're going to talk about what is GitHub and what is a repository. Once we do that, then we will talk about Git Bash and we will talk about the concept of cloning a repository and then finally we're going to talk about how to push to a remote repository so let's just get on with the demo so the first thing we're going to do is go to github and we are going to sign in so I already have credentials but if you don't to sign up all you literally do is pick a username an email address and a password and that is literally it so once you do this so let me just quickly sign in you will end up on this page so regardless of whether you sign in or you sign up we will arrive on the exact same page ie this page here so what is github github is an online social code sharing website it allows us to upload code online and allow others to both see our code and contribute towards it as well github allows us to create what are called repositories repositories are basically online folders where you can save your code think of it as a cloud storage system almost that anyone is able to gain access to and contribute towards so when you arrive on this page the first thing we want to do is actually create a repository and to do that just click on the start a project button and when on this we have the ability to create a repository so i am going to name my repository github slash demo and I'm going to make it public and I'm going to initialize it with the readme file and I'm going to create the repository and that's it it is as simple as that we now have a really simple repository in github so if we look at it in our repository there is nothing there's only a readme file which at the moment contains nothing anyway now that we have a repository online we now need to somehow find a way of copying this into our local drive, making changes to the files and then pushing this back into our repository on GitHub. The tool we're going to use to copy this project to our local drive is Git. And to access Git, we are going to do it through a terminal. Now there are multiple ways to do this. You can go into your command line, set up Git that way, but a much easier way is to download what is called git bash. So let's do that. So this is Git's website. And on this website, I want to download the Windows client. Now, depending on your operating system, you would obviously select whichever is most appropriate for you. So it's automatically found my OS system after I told it what my OS is. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this file. And it looks like it's downloaded. And now I'm going to run it. So when you get this, there's no need to kind of fiddle around with any of the settings. Everything on the default setting should be good enough. So next 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 uh, next next again next uh, next again and install okay great so it's installed uh, I'm going to select the launch git bash checkbox and uncheck the view release notes and hit finish okay so it looks like we've opened up the terminal so this is specifically git bash terminal that we've opened 
So what is this? This is basically a terminal that allows us to run various types of command that you would on Windows. For example, uh, dir, uh, pwd, and so on. But it also gives us additional commands which are pertinent to git, i.e. git command. So this allows us to interact with git. And because we've installed it via the git website, it's also set up a couple other things in the background which allow us to use git commands. So the first thing I want to do is actually go into a directory where I'm eventually going to end up copying my project. So I would like to go into my documents and then in here I am going to create a git folder and then I'm going to go into the folder and so at the moment, my current working directory is documents for slash git. So it is in this directory that I'm going to copy in my project. So if I just quickly do a dir, then this shows that I currently don't have any folders in this directory. To be specific, if I manually go to the directory, so if I go to my documents and then git, I can see there's nothing in here. So let's go to the project. And now what we want to do is copy this into our local drive. So how do we do this? Well to do this we need to use the clone command from git. However before we use this git clone command there's a couple of things we need to do really quickly. We need to use first of all set up a username and a user email in our git configuration. And to do this simply type in git space config space user dot name and then you use a name inside double quote so mine will be QA Shahin ah okay so it looks like we cannot create a username if we're not inside an actual git repository so that's a good thing so the first thing we're going to do is actually clone this repository so to clone this repository clone basically means to copy so if we right click and copy this HTTP link and we go back to our console, if we type in git clone and we paste in that URL, that is now effectively created a copy of that project in our local drive. So if I now do a DIR, I can see that is copied in the GitHub demo project. If I open up directory, I can see it's copied in the project and if I go into git Hub demo I can see it's also copied in the readme file so that's great that's what we wanted to do now what we want to do is make a quick change to this so we're just going to make some simple change it doesn't matter what the change is all we want to do is see how we can push changes back up to our project in github and to do that all we're going to do is go into our project and we're going to right click and simply create a test file so I'm going to say test.txt and nothing else. Now that we have a test file, what we want to do is actually push that into the repository. However, before we push, we need to set the git config username as well as the git config user email address. So now if we try to set the username, is still telling us we're not in a repository because it's true we're currently in the git folder so we need to go into the repository and notice it now says master so we'll talk about this in a future video but all this is basically saying is we are on a master branch so now let's try to set the username and we can see we were able to set the username the next thing we need to set is the email address and we've set the email address also. So to push the changes, we are going to say first do a git status. So what git status does is it simply tells us the current status. And we have a file here. So it looks like I gave it the extension. However, the extension was also explicitly set. Anyway, never mind. let's just push this file. So to push the file, we're going to say git add followed by the name of the file. And then we're going to say git commit minus m and we're going to give this a name. So let's just say something like 
pushing my first commit and if we now do a git log we can see that we have now got the commit in as part of our logs and now if we do a git push so this is now asking us for our username so I'm just going to say git QA Shahin as well as the password and this has now pushed the changes into our repository in github so if I now go to github and if I refresh this page I can see that the file is now on my repository in github and it is as simple as that that is how we push changes into github so in this particular video what we did was we first signed into or signed up to github we created a repository we then downloaded a terminal which allowed us to write and use git commands we then used the terminal to go into the project and set the username and the user email address and we made a small change and we then pushed it into our repository via git push so just to quickly recap in this video we covered how to create a repository how to clone the repository and how to push to the repository thanks a lot for watching my video i will see you in the next one